I wanna show you how you can get data from any API into Webflow. You can literally talk to any API and pull that data into the Webflow CMS. And once it's in the CMS, you can of course do whatever you want with it. Uh, starting on the right side of this chart, pick your API. I have an example here with Alpha Vantage and Tably, but really would work with any. Then you can use a tool called Data Fetcher, which I'll show you in a second, to pull that data from those APIs into Airtable. Airtable is a database, it's a spreadsheet, but basically it's the back end of your Webflow site. And so once you've pulled data with Data Fetcher into this backend, you just need to then sync it into Webflow and you can use Whale Sync to do that. So that's the whole thing. And just to show you what that actually looks like, if we go into Airtable, I can go over to Extensions and add the Data Fetcher extension. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, open this up full screen so you can see this more clearly. Um, but basically what this lets you do is create an API request. I'll show you the one that I did for Tavily. Um, but basically I can do whatever method I want, pop in the URL, my API key and the other parameters and send this request as well as what schedule I want this to run on, right? So if I want it to run automatically or on a trigger or even a webhook URL, um, but basically this will hit this API, it will grab it and pull a response into Airtable for each one of these rows. So what's happening here, just to give you the details, it's basically hitting the Tavily API and writing an AI summary of a news article and popping it into here. Then I'm using Whale Sync to take what's in this Airtable base and sync it into Webflow, right? So I've got that API information, I'm now using Whale Sync to sync it to Webflow. And ultimately where this ends up is onto my Webflow site, right? Technically it's first ending up in my Webflow CMS. So you'll notice the same information and data that's coming in through that API that's in Airtable is hopping into this Webflow CMS. Um, but from here, as you're probably familiar, you can use that however you like to design your own pages. So that's really the end-to-end -end steps. I'll show you the summary again. Uh, we've got Webflow is the front end, Whale Sync connecting it to a back end, Data Fetcher doing the actual pulling of, of data from an API into that back end. That was a very quick little demo. Hope that helps. Let us know if you have any questions.